Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about rational exponents and radical expressions. To be specific, I will teach you how to convert expressions with rational exponents to radical expressions and we will reverse it later. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we start converting expressions with rational exponents, to radical expression and vice versa. Let's have a review first about these two forms. So we have here an exponential form and a radical form. This is an exponential form wherein it is an expression with rational exponent. When we say rational exponent, these are exponents in fractional form, like this one. We have one third. So for the exponential form, this number, this five, is considered as your base. And this number on the upper right side of your base, this one is your exponent or fractional exponent. And on the other side, this expression or this radical expression, we have here the cube root of five, or again, the cube root of five Let's have the parts of this radical expression. This number, a smaller number, this one is called as the index. Next, this symbol, this symbol is your radical sign. And the expression or the number inside the radical sign is what you call the radicand. Now, those are the parts of an exponential form and radical expression. So I think we are ready to discuss how to convert expressions with rational exponents to radical expressions. Now, here's the question. How do we convert radical form to exponential form and vice versa. So let's start, let's start with this one. Let's say for example, this is your expression with rational exponent and we will erase this base by the exponent of m over n. Again, this is the exponent of your exponential form. Now to convert this to radical form, all you need to do is this denominator of your exponent n will become the index of the radical expression while the numerator of the exponent of exponential form will become the exponent of the radicand so don't be confused about these two forms because though they are in different form they are equal so i know you're ready to have this Tutorial done. So let's start with the conversion. Transform the given radical form into exponential form and exponential form to radical form. So we have here the column for the radical form and another column for the exponential form. Our first example to be converted from radical to exponential form is the fifth root of seven. So what will happen here if we transform this into exponential form is that your radicand seven will become the base of your exponential form. And for the exponent of your exponential form, this is a fraction. So what will happen is that this index five will be the denominator of the exponent. And since we don't have the exponent here, this is one. So the exponential form of the fifth root of seven is none other than seven raised to one over five. That's it for item number one. Let's move on with the next example. We're in, we're given an exponential form and to be converted to radical form. We have x raised to five over two. So create a radical sign and then what you will do is that this base 
will be your radicand. And to reverse the process, the exponent or the denominator of the exponent is your index 2. So here's the rule. If your index is 2, you need to hide it. And because if the index is 2, it will appear or it is just an invisible index. And next, your numerator or the numerator for exponent will be the exponent of your radicand. Therefore, this is the answer for item number two, wherein you will read that as the square root of x raised to five. So I hope that you can learn, you learn something from the first two examples. So you can pause the video and you can convert item number three, which is the fifth root of x cubed. Now for item number three, the nth root of x cubed, your radicand x will be the base of your exponential form. And this index will become the denominator of the exponent, 5. And this exponent, 3, will be the numerator of the exponent. Therefore, the converted form or the exponential form is x raised to 3 over 5. Next, let's move on with item number 4. We have here the quantity of n, sorry, the quantity of 2n raised to 3 over 5. So what will happen here is that you will draw a radical sign. And as you can see, the denominator is 5. So that will be your index. And this exponent n or this base 2n will be here as your radicand with exponent of 3. So as you can see, we can apply the power rule wherein we can distribute the exponent, which is equivalent to the fifth root of 8n raised to 3. So that is the converted form of the quantity of 2n raised to 3 over 5. Next, let's move on with item number 5 or with our last example. This one is quite complicated, but applying the law, we can do this. We have 1 over the quantity of the 7th root of a raised to negative 3. Before you start converting this, all you need to do is to make this exponent positive so to do that all you need to do is to write it as the quantity of the seventh root of a raised to three so to convert this into exponential form that is a raised to three over seven that's it for item number five I hope you learned something from this video and by this, you know how to convert exponential form to radical form and vice versa. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gone. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook. So I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.